internet, I'm Color Flority, and welcome to what is probably going to be the final episode of Frogger He's Back, because we have three levels left. Two of them are nasty, but one of them's a lot of fun. So the first nasty level is Crumbled Point. Well, it's basically a tougher version of Cactus Point. A uh, much tougher version of Cactus Point. So to start off, we've got this Buffalo Stampede. Getting through this is a lot of fun. It's a lot more manageable with quick jump. Unfortunately, that does not reappear after you die. And rattlesnakes make it more fun. And also in here, there's the last gold frog. I say last gold frog, not technically the last gold of the frog, but it's the last one that's hidden. As you can see, this is a lot of fun. Wow, I'm actually having less trouble with the Buffalo Stampede than I was on Cactus Point. Should not have said that out loud, but, you know. There will be large gaps between a few of the boulders. You use those in order to get the red and purple frogs. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And hey look, more boulders. We love boulders, don't we? And they... Actually, I think these fiends are, uh... Gila monsters. Ooh. Oh man. Getting past them is nerve-wracking. But we get Blue Frog! Hooray! I used to think the buffaloes were, like, treading fire behind them, because that's what it looked like. Oh, uh, I was so naive. Whoa, okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. And, yeah. Boulders can crush you, if I didn't show that off. Whoops. I was hoping to not die so much on Crumbled Point, because I'm going to need all of my lives for the next level. The, last ne the next level is without a doubt the hardest in the game. Even more so than Uncanny Crusher. That is how you're supposed to get past them. No, oh, okay. No! Oh, I forgot they were really close together sometimes. But the buffalo have not been giving me a whole lot of trouble. Thanks, Buffalo. Okay. Frogger. Stop trying to screw me over. <laughs> Ow. Okay, it didn't look like I should have gotten hit by that beetle. Oh, okay, and it did not look like I should have gotten hit by that buffalo either. Alright. The path to the green frog is fraught with peril. And, f yeah, if you run into the explosion of the boulder, it still kills you, which is fun. Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. There are too many boulders on this stage. Too many. Well, even if I get to the next stage, guess what? I'm in I'm going to instantly game over. Like, intentionally, just because there is no way I am going to be able to beat it with no extra lives.
Ooh, I do. I love the view from up here, though. Where are there tumbleweeds? I do not know where there were tumbleweeds, but all right. Next up, big boulder alley. <sighs> oh boy, let's get this over with. If you thought Boulder Alley was nasty, you have seen nothing yet. So, please excuse me while I have a game over. And I'm back, guys. Alright, big Boulder Alley. So, as you can see, everything's bigger. And you can also see that a lot of this stage has changed. The good news is the purple and orange frogs are actually easier to get in this version. Orange is actually right over here. Blue is pretty much exactly as difficult as it was to get before, red's quite a bit harder, and green is nearly impossible. Oh yeah, and there are buzzards that fly everywhere and kill you. Thanks, man! At least you get uh, the maximum time limit. And now there are two boulders that fall down this canyon. At least the boulders uh, bounce in very predictable patterns. Yeah, you'll see green. It's not there anymore. Ow. I should have hidden that inlet. That's what they're there for. Whoa, boy. Okay. Bam. All right. Patience is kind of key in this level. <sighs> and I already know which frog I need to get next. I need to get green as soon as possible, because if I don't, that just increases the chances I'll have to get all the other frogs again. Actually, now that I think about it, except for blue and purple, all of the frogs on this level are in a completely different location. And I actually have, have no problem with red and orange being in different locations, but green is just flat out unfair. See where he is across that crocodile pit? Yeah! Let's go there. So first you have to find your way past these boulders and get on that pelican, which is a lot easier said than done. And even then, that's still the easy part of the frog. That was too close. And I did not mean to quote Eggman there, but alright. No, no, no! Darn it! I got on the pelican, but then I just jumped off. I feel like the beetles are a bit more cooperative on this level. Mainly because you don't have to traverse the pathway to the purple frog anymore, because they opened up a new route. Much easier one, but... We don't get to take that just yet. What the heck? Oh, it worked last time. I've got no lives. I'm coming for you, green frog. Okay, so you can't jump on the pelican's beaks on this level. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, Nick. I'm coming for you. If I can get the green frog, I'm pretty confident I can get the others. Green and red are the toughest. Oh, there we go. 
control alt delete ow <laughs> at least that was pretty funny And I just realized I'm recording the mouse cursor for this. Nope. I'm always afraid I'm going to jump into the cactus, so I go a bit farther than I bet I could. No! The freaking pelican. I'm dying at the easy part, believe it or not. That crocodile pit is the hardest part of the whole game. It doesn't help that the tumbleweeds are making those obnoxious sound effects. Oh, okay. You can jump on top of it. You just can't win sometimes! Oh, two pro! And now I'm gonna die at some stupid part, aren't I? Yes! Thank you. Alright. Now the fun part begins. So that way leads to the red frog. Where's the way to the uh, green frog, though? That's weird. What do you know? I died at a stupid part. I ran headfirst into a cactus. And I smacked my head so hard that now my nose hurts. In hindsight, I probably should have smacked my forehead and not my nose. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I might as well just... Actually, there's like no way I'm going to get past this anyway, so... Oh wait, no, I totally forgot, this doesn't lead to the red frog. This leads to the green frog. As you can see, we're at the bottom of the canyon now. That's the start. Okay. Darn it! I almost made it across too! You know what? I'll see you guys later. Big boulder alley. Guess what? I'm sick of this. But getting the green frog is actually not as hard as I remember. Oh! I just hope that my stupid screw-ups are giving people entertainment somewhere. You've got to be kidding me. Well, see you guys later. Bleh. Oh my gosh, this course, this freaking course. <laughs> I would even take Uncanny Crusher over this. Actually... I might not, because this is a lot more skill-based. Darn it! The freaking explosion! I feel like it shouldn't damage you, but... I feel very strongly that it should not explode. Ow! Come on! I thought that boulder was gonna go farther. This level is aptly na- Oh! You've got to be kidding me. 
This is just like the last run. This is just like the last run! Alright, Big Boulder Alley, I'm going to get you. I'm gonna get you. I need to stop being so greedy on this level. Yay! First try on this attempt. I think it is pretty cool that you do go to the canyon bottom in this version of Boulder Alley. I landed in a crocodile's open mouth and I didn't die! I got the hardest frog. Alright, I can do this. I'm gonna get the hardest frogs first. I hate you. Oh! I still hate you, but less so. Alright. Time to get red frog. And we've got to do this dumb thing once again. Ooh, I can't believe I made it on the pelican. Yeah, the beaks are not solid in this uh, world. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. There's another path. This one. Whoa, hi, uh, Heal Monster? What's up? We're part of the same family. Okay. Hi, tumbleweeds. Yeah! Red frog done! The two hardest frogs are over with. Okay. I'll get purple frog next. You might be thinking, Color Fordy, where are you going? This is not the way to the purple frog. Actually, it is! In, the, in Boulder Alley, you could not go this way because there would be a cactus blocking your path, but in this version, you can just go around. Unfortunately, the boulders fall very, very fast. Whoa, okay, hi, 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 yeah, purple frog, and I've got maxed out lives. Uh, also, I'm going to say the victory music that plays when you beat the Cactus World is by far the most epic in the game. Alright, time for Blue Frog. Oh, hi. Hi there. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, 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 and blue frog, yeah. All right. Yeah, see how hard it would be to go over to get purple frog that way. Yes, I beat Big Boulder Alley. Yes. See what I mean when I say that music is just epic? Oh, I beat Big Boulder Alley. Yes. And now, the piece de resistance. We get to go to the last level, the banana level. Tropical trouble. Also, the first time you play this level, it's like way more awesome than every other time. So, be prepared for that. This is a tough level. But it's also really fun. Ho 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 ho! 
Also, I love the way these uh, alligators look. Also, the butterflies are worth a huge amount of points, so that's cool. Seriously, the crocodiles in this world just look so awesome. And these are rhinoceroses. And this is a hippo. I did not even see that rhinoceros. The tree was completely blocking him from view. The hippos look kind of... Wow, okay, I could have sworn I would have landed on that log, but that's alright. That's alright. Because I'm out of Big Boulder Alley. Okay. Where there's one rhinoceros, there's going to be two. I know that now. Also, these are piranha plants, basically. They're gonna try to kill you. And that's a monkey, he'll also try to kill you, for some reason. Don't ask me why. But I love just how, like, everything in the jungle is trying to kill you, even the flowers. This is like a really well done world. I kind of wish there was more than one level to it, but on the other hand, there only being one level makes it special. And you can cross this bridge with the piranha on it, but you've got to do it quickly or else it'll fall. And yes, there is a golden frog on this level, but... Oh, okay. That's why you don't walk on the crocodile's heads, because then they bite. Come on, guy. We're part of the same family. Hi, monkey. Oh, yeah. Tarantulas. Or no, those are scorpions. I'm sorry. And the hedgehogs are back from the autumn world. Oh, come on! He turned around in, like, a frame. This level is a lot more dangerous than I gave it credit for. There's that monkey. Alright. Uh, what the heck? Oh! That scorpion's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Remind me to never go to the jungle goal in real life, but... I'm totally cool with just visiting it in a video game. <laughs> oh, that monkey. And there's orange. Did I skip purple somewhere? I want to say I skipped purple somewhere. No, not the rhino who turns around in one frame. At least I still have a ton of lives. You get a lot of lives on this level because you get so many points from the bugs. Not to mention you get to hop everywhere, which is cool. So you can't jump up on top of that. Alright. Oh, actually, no, I didn't miss purple. Purple's at the end. Along with green. I'm watching out this time. <laughs> we get it, monkey. For some reason, you like killing frogs. Yeah, if you go back to this level after you beat it, like, all of the stuff that kills you is now gone. Like, the alligators are gone, the hippos are gone, the rhinos are gone, the scorpions are gone, the flowers are gone, the hedgehogs are gone. Like, literally, just everything is gone. Which, there's a reason for that, I know, but I would have preferred that it stayed this way, because they also get rid of all the big points.
Alright, getting green frog is uh, kind of interesting, actually. He's up in the ruins. Requires a series of interesting super hop maneuvers. Alright. That's actually not the end of the level, though. Now the temple opens up. The monkey didn't touch me! He moved through me, then he killed me at the end when he, like, wasn't touching me. Don't underestimate the monkeys. Alright, so now we go into the temple, and there's the golden frog. Except we don't really collect it. And now it tests to see how many golden frogs you've found. If you found them all, you get a special ending. If not, you just have a game over. It's so satisfying when you've got the fishbone gold frog. <laughs> and what's the special ending, you might ask? Well, you're about to find out. Everyone goes into the back of the temple, and... Why is the screen going weird? Look at that great graphics. And there's the Lily Frog. And their backyard is the original Frogger, for some reason. I still don't really understand that ending, I'll be honest. And now we get the credits! And for some reason the credits still have music when none of the rest of the game does. Also, how come there's an orange frog on that platform when it was a purple frog in the real game? I love this music. I don't remember a level in the bottom right where you ride clouds in the lily pad world. This is a nice amalgamation of a lot of the different songs in the game. Really nice. And of course, all the people that worked on the game, thank you very much, you made a great game. Although, admittedly, I could have done without Uncanny Crusher, and Lava Crush, and Frogger Goes Skiing, and Big Boulder Alley, and Time Flies. Oh yeah! I don't like the crude sound effects in the background, but whatever. It looks like a few- it looks like a few of the stages- this- these are like the beta versions of the stages. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's Frogger, he's back! I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the series, because I know I had a lot of fun playing this, despite all of my rage during Uncanny Crusher. Also, not quite the end of the series yet! As it turns out, Frogger has multiplayer options, so me and Marty have already actually recorded that episode, and we'll be posting it right after this. So, 
Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Arnie, and I hope to see you for my next Let's Play. Have a great day, and God bless.